How you that day now? Welcome back. Uh, good morning, afternoon, evening, depending on where you guys are watching this video from. Please try as much as possible. Firstly, like this video, comment as you watch, and uh, share it with your friend, guys. There's a need there for you guys to know some certain information hmm? so that you won't get yourself into huge trouble in the future. Hmm? We know for Nigeria, eh, most of our product that we use, be it laptop, phone, are majorly uh tokumbos if i mean tokumbo uk use us use no uk use precisely uk use uk use uk use phone second hand now they be because they already use them before they might refurbish a nigeria use phone and sell it for you as a uk use phone we have fell for that before many of us don't fall for such thing but thank god we have been succeeding me now this phone now definitely not brand new this phone, this iPhone 11 Pro Max that I bought there was not brand new. I bought it for 500 k It wasn't brand new as of then. But it was apparently UK use. I don't know if person don't use this thing, don't take it person before, or don't take it before, or don't do anything before. But all I can say is that this phone, as of then, when they sold it for me, they said it was UK use. And then the level, if uh, 14 Pro Max I bought, about one point something million era i bought it directly from dubai so that's why i'm sure it's not uk use it was do like the island me open everything for there so that this phone is direct it's direct and among iphones that i'll be buying this is the iphone 14 pro max is the first phone that i bought directly we are no life but however a guy gave us an, an high opener recently. He made a video of, his, of someone that was repatriated immediately because of a reused phone. Please listen and listen well, not to fall for the same trap. Um, it's minus 20 degree outside. Um, my hand are freezing. See, uh, if they come this place, whether not Canada they come, or if they come US or Australia, anywhere where they go, you say anything fairly used phone, fairly used laptop, where person don't use, when you say one buy for more those things where you did, avoid that more. If you don't get money to buy that Apple phone, you won't buy, send a new one. Buy fairly used phone, no. Buy fairly used laptop. No go carry fairly used um, new, um, uh, sorry, buy new phone, no. Buy new laptop. No go carry fairly used phone, they come here. After they tell you now, person get deportation rather now. You go buy fairly used Apple, all these are 14 uh, Pro. You don't go see a new phone. You don't go buy. You don't live there now. You can't be sending a phone where all these working boys don't use work now. This is so what people, uh, then they see everything what they do. Oh. This boy don't format this phone. I don't know if they go check inside that phone. The whole formation, everything, both the chat and everything, just the four lads from that phone. As I tell you now, this guy know the roof. He you know if he answer the question whether they ask him repatriating that phone. Why? Because now fairly soon, I not be able to get the phone. If they come Canada here, yeah, if they go Australia anywhere, avoid fairly used phone. Buy new one. We want your money rich. Even a Nokia touch your money rich. Buy it and they come. If you come here, start the work. You go feel you no. Know, you buy new phone for year. Phone for years, and no be luxury, and just stomach lifestyle for calling here. Yeah. If you like, want to use iPhone 17 Pro Max, iPhone 22 Pro Max, nobody sent you. Now your money, they talk. And besides, they're not even paying money. Now, small, small, you go just enter store, you go carry phone they use. Make you go avoid new phone, uh, fairly used phone, no, we go go carry you, go give you a Allah. Avoid fairly used laptop. You come here, you go go collect laptop, you go they pay small, small. Avoid that more. I think I said my young for this video. You come here, no go carry phone now. We don't go there. Go come they ask you for airports now. You no go feel the answer question. When waiting phone, where person don't use work. All those Yahoo boys don't use and work finish. You can't go buy them. Or person don't go use and go do some kind message, some kind messages where you no understand. You can't go the answer question where you no feel the code. Avoid them all. And those people where they go, their destination. For instance, now your destination at Toronto. You can't go follow Montreal. Make you make sure say you get tangible reason. You no. Know? For instance, now you come school for Toronto, yeah, your school day for Toronto, you come with a fast Montreal, you come with a fast another airport. Normally, they happen. But normal, normal, if you come to Canada, say you want your final destination at Toronto, guy or plane at Toronto is supposed to pass. Except, say, maybe they go places like Saskatchewan or Manitoba. Then, if you say you want to pass Montreal or maybe pass Toronto before you go for your final. So, the first question I'll be why ask this guy, you say, why well, be like, say, all Nigerians, whenever they want to take uh, any video abroad or talk about anything, why is it that they always go outside the track for the street? <laughs> they don't get asked to sit down like the way I sit down, they make video. Why is it that they both trek in the street? I don't know, I don't understand it too, right? But notwithstanding, let's focus on the information that this guy is trying to point out. But I thought, eh, I thought. 
your phone is your personal privacy. Just like over here in Nigeria, the police do not have the right to search your phone. The security men do not have the right to search your phone, except from special order. Special order. So, oh, I thought. I thought. So, do they have the right over there, uh, airport officers, to search your phone without any special order? I don't know. But all the same, guys, just be careful out there. Eh? Just be careful. May you not spend millions to travel, and the other day, the next day, the uh, before I ask you reach there, before you say Jack, they repatriate you straight back to Nigeria. So just know that and no peace. Eh? Know that and no peace. And meanwhile, I want to firstly uh, thank the Nigeria police. Hmm? You know, sometimes it's really good to praise our Nigeria police. I want to praise them for what they did recently. You guys remember that lady, the man that they adopted his sister his six daughters in uh, Abuja. They released the man for the man to go and look for about 25 million or 60 something million naira there about, I've forgotten. And the man couldn't raise the money and thereby the kidnapper by the first daughter who graduated with first class in the University of Abuja. Well, the kidnapper made Duan the kidnapper made one they don't arrest the kidnapper. And this is the face of the guy. According to the Nigeria police, oh, they don't arrest him. As a press release, police destroy bandit camp, arrest deadly kidnapper, kidnapper for kidnapped, grocery mother of a uh, Bwari lady, Nambiha in Kaduna. As IGP commands DPO for rejecting 1 million naira. The operative of the Nigeria police on 20 January 2024 have arrested one Belu Mohammed, 28, of Zamfara State in Kaduna a Division of Police. Okay. They said it was the one that did that idiot act. I don't want to read further, guys. It's too long. But all the same guys say, you know, they wonder if they catch all those kidnappers. Mm -mm. We can hear, we do hear of uh, a pastor that was sentenced to life imprisonment. We, we do hear about some certain people that will have been sentenced. But what about all those kidnappers and all those people? Why, Bill, I say we know they hear their judgment? Why? Why, why, why? Why? So a few states in Nigeria have signed an executive order. They have supported this. If they catch you kidnapping anybody, now nah, buy once. They have signed it into law. They are supporting it for the Fed, for the Fed draft, for the Fed, the Nigeria Fed, uh, Federation should sign it into law. But I, I, I don't know why it's taking time. Oh, wow. I'm so happy they finally caught the guy. Who goes to Nigeria police? And meanwhile, may God give uh, the, the father of that girl strength. To move on it was painful then first class the get just graduate too. in fact the get died before he don't the right exam finish i waited the final result now they get by when he by now they discover say the get was a first class material crazy man then check out this video you know uh ahmed usma ududo was sworn in as the fifth Democratic elected governor of uh, Kogi State. So the crazy thing was that after I was sworn in, this guy quickly went to the to the passing out governor and prostrated for him. <laughs> he lied down for her, you know, Kai. Democracy, you, democracy, you, democracy. You. Democracy, you, democracy, you, democracy, you, democracy, you. Kai, the person I got, he prostrated for him. Like, see vice president here, yeah, see other people. Prostrated like, ah. When that person will get somewhere to solve, but I don't feel like we, we sometimes say we do what I know somebody might, must be loyal to somebody. Somebody must definitely be loyal because now they've, apart from, 
apart from general voting you know, from Nigerians, so there's party voting. Party voting is one of the most corrupt voting. If you don't get strong person to stand for you, you are not getting that party voting. So I understand why it prostrated. Apart from Nigeria voting, eh, there's party voting. And you know, this person that uh, Kogi governor stood firmly for this man. But you know one thing again, as soon as they become governor, they are no loyal. <laughs> they, are, they are no longer loyal to their boss. What is the apple between uh, Fubora and Wiki? 